Hi girls and guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have got an Audi RS6 with all of its carbon, carbon fiber beauty. On this, nice and easy job for the day. We're replacing front brake pads. Um, we have gone original brake pads on these with original brake pad sensor wires. The brake pads are a staggering 500 pounds. And the wear sensors, these little things are nearly 100 quid each. These things really are expensive to run. So let's get these big bad boy 21 inch wheels off and we'll show you how to change the brake pads on an Audi RS6. It would be rude not to do a little money shot on this bad boy. Look at it, look at it. Uh, so what we're gonna do is open the little flap and undo the reservoir cap to not put any excess pressure on the cap and stuff like that when we're pushing the calipers back. I'm gonna get the little cap puller. These are a must with these. And we're going to whip out all caps. There's one missing for the locking nut, which is cool. So out these come. The wheel bolts on these are 17 mil. Also, this is a genuine Volkswagen Audi group. And the part number for this particular thing is 8DO, uh, so 8D0012244, A for Alpha. And it's Espana. Right, here we go. Firstly, these do have a tendency to seize. Someone's put some copper slip on this, but we're going to clean all that up. Now, you've got pin number one, pin number two. <clears throat> you will definitely want to apply some lube, but that's how they fit. You've got to push this back, push that back, out, out. And there is a, I think that's a 13, but probably an 11 or 12. I don't know, I'll find out in a minute. Uh, we've got to undo that, and that's how we're going to get these back. So, as I said, the little bolt that goes in the back, undo that. Get the main bit out, tap the two pins through, um, then gently push these back, clean up the mating surface where the pad goes, uh, obviously disconnect the sensor wire, which we've already done. We got these pads, I mean, the sensor was flagging on it, um, so got them in a good time, so it doesn't actually cause any problems. You can see it's just cut the sensor there, so excellent timings. So once I've finished cleaning all this up, uh, we're gonna assemble. We are using um, Techstar brake pad grease. Can't remember the name of it. Plus there's a sticker right over the top of it. I think I've got another tube. I'll find out exactly what that is, but that's the best stuff to use on these. And now it's time to rebuild this side. One thing I didn't realize, these are actual Brembo brake pads. So money saving tip. If you want OE, just order Brembo. Okay, so we're all back together. So we've greased the pins, cleaned them, greased them. That bolt's nice and tight. That is 25 newton meters or 24. I will double check while I'm doing the rest of this video. Uh, hub's been cleaned back and some anti seize on there. Pins are through and on. Where sensor goes down round and connects to there. So that side is done. Now we're going to side two. While I'm here, it is 24 newton meters for this bolt here. Caliper guide pin, 24 newton meters. And that is side two all done and complete. It is now time to plug the computer in, see if we need to reset the brakes so it knows that it's got a new brake, new brake pads and new sensor wire. Firstly, we're gonna torque the wheels up. Um, once we've got all that done, lower it down and take it from there. Locking wheel nut is back. You lift this up, well, you remove all six cases of champagne. Lift this up, take the plastic cover out from underneath. Locking wheel nut is under there. That is all done. Now. It is literally that good time for diagnostics and then road test. So once you've done the brakes, obviously, as I've always said, pump the brake pedal to make sure you've got a, a solid brake pedal because obviously you push all the calipers back. Now you need to push them forward to make sure you've got brake pressure. And uh, unfortunately, you know, we have to road test the RS6 because um, we need to make sure it's safe. So seat belts on, let's go for a road test. Well, that was a nice little road test. So this Audi RS6 is done. 